All right, oh, where am I? There we go, rolls back. So, we're gonna be doing some deadlift and show you about some deadlift today. I'm getting back on a deadlift cycle. Uh, Pavel has written for me. I've been working on trying to take mine up to around 500 or so. May see what else we could do. Uh, there's some tactical strength stuff coming up in April, I'm checking out. But <clears throat> what I want to do is show you just kind of how I set up for deadlift, and I, I'm going to show you about how I use my hook grip as well. I've had surgery on both elbows, so I tend to use a hook grip instead of an alternate grip. And I, I might get into showing you how I use straps sometimes as well. But I just want to show you guys how. When I do deadlift, if you're going to follow along with the Dad Strong blog I've got going on, just what it looks like when I set up and get going, it's just 225, so this is my warm-up sets. But um, I, I tend to lift with my feet out wide, my hands inside, you know, what people would say sumo style, I guess. Uh, but it's just how I have deadlifted forever. It's how I pick stuff up when I'm outside of the gym. Uh, it's my stance. Kind of when I squat, maybe a little wider than I squat, but not much. It's my stance when I kettlebell swing. So it's kind of my overall power stance. But I just wanted to show you guys it's kind of a basic set, making sure that when you are deadlifting, every setup looks the same. And I'm also going to do some pause work in the cycle to help strengthen up my hook grip. Uh, I haven't deadlifted heavy with hook grip yet. So see how it goes. But number one, see if we can get in there. Back the bar up a little more. So the first thing I do is I approach the bar. I always grab. Oh, let me tilt that up a little bit. There we go. These are all just habit things that help me make sure I set up for a good pull. So first I get my stance. Then I always grab. Seems dumb, but I always grab my pants or my shorts when I'm wearing right at the pockets because this helps me. This helps remind me to one create that rotation in the ground where I squeeze my butt tight, set my pelvis, and screw my feet in the ground. You can kind of see how right now how I'm screwing those feet in the floor, create that nice, powerful position where I can use that force off the ground and pull the bar. But also when I grab here, it reminds me to hinge back at the hips. So. <clears throat> That first thing I do, get my feet set, screw them into the ground, squeeze the butt, grab my short or grab my pants, shorts, whatever I got on. Then I'm going to see how I took that deep breath in right here. So squeezing my stomach tight and breathing into that tension I've created. Tension in the pelvis, tension in the abdominals, grab the shorts, sit my butt back, hands down, get my grip right on the inside of the knurling. And now, I'm going to wrap around, I'm going to grab that hook grip, which means my thumb is going inside my hand like this, and not this position. Thumb, and I'm grabbing that thumb with these two fingers around the bar. So, setting that grip. There we go. And then, I'm going to externally rotate the shoulders, squeeze that tricep, pull that lat down like someone was trying to tickle me in the armpit. This helps set that whole back. Then I'm going to wedge my hips down just a little bit. I'm going to breathe in that tension one more time. Pull back, squeeze that butt tight at the top. Lower back down the way it came. At the top, remember, we're just pulling to here. We did, there's no reason to go back in this position. We're just hyperextending at that point. So, I'll show you another one. Set those feet, grab the pants, butt back, grab the bar, set that hook grip, create that tension in the shoulders and upper back, pull through, squeeze the butt tight at the top, lower it down, same way you came. That's how I pull, a lot of people, whoop, you're going to pull feet inside the hands. Fine, doesn't matter either way. You just need to find which way is the most comfortable for you. Check it out. Try it both ways. But this is kind of how I pull. And I'll post on the site, kind of the cycle I'm going to be going through this time around. So, now, get your deadlift on and go be awesome.